we're going to walk through a couple of different okay. uh, kind of use cases of the software. This first one here, kind of showing you what it looks like when we're building a field in the program. A lot of folks get intimidated uh, by software. We've got 10-year-olds uh, that use the software. We've got, you know, in their 80s using the software, logging into it. Um, so you give us a boundary file or even draw in, uh, you know, field boundaries. And as soon as that information hits our system right away, we're capturing um, all the soil properties of that location, elevation, water holding capacity. We go back and grab five years of weather data to get a, a historic baseline on that. That way, we're just giving you more information that you'll later be able to use to help kind of determine if your yield is in line with what's reasonable. Uh, the next one I think we've got uh, to share would be on the soil rex process. Um, so soil rex, traditionally um, our, our growers would, would work with uh, another organization maybe to get those soil tests completed and then look for information from other folks, some of whom maybe are providing the fertilizer or selling them the fertilizer that they're recommending. So in our case, uh, we're, we're kind of giving them an independent source of that information. So they upload their, their recs or their, their soil samples, you can see those listed. Uh, and as soon as those get into our program, uh, they're then able to get yield-specific recommendations on where their nutrients are in the soil and where they need to be to hit those yield targets that they have. I'm really excited about that particular portion because, again, if someone's got you know, 400 bushel per acre aspirations and 240 bushel yield potential, they might lose a lot of money to find out that they didn't really have it available to them, right? So we generate from the, these recs actual spread files that they can hand to their co-op or retail partner. Um, we don't care which products they're putting out. We just give them ideas about rates that they should be using. Very uh, nice. We've got an, another example here. Um, this is on our, our newest offering. We released this this spring on variable rate seeding. All of our growers are now able in, their, in the program to to pick a field uh, and uh, build variable rate seeding maps based on a lot of different criteria. Average yield in that area, water holding capacity, elevation, soil types, uh, you know, we've got a, a ton of different variables to play with. Randy and David spend a lot of time talking about um, managing risk uh, and, and plant population is certainly a big factor in that. And so we're giving them a tool where they can, in this example, you know, by soil type, pick out a few different uh, you know, population uh, bumps or steps that they want to work within, and then it's going to auto-generate a map for them. The next one is probably our, our most exciting piece, and the growers are pretty familiar with this process. This is our tissue uh, recommendation process. When a grower gets their tissue results back from the lab, they get this fun screen here. <laughs> Hopefully there's not as much red and yellow on there as we see in this case, but you can see at the top of the screen there, this is actually a 400 bushel per acre yield goal. So you can see across several different samples they've taken every week and across several different nutrients, we've got significant limiting factors from a lot of different nutrients. So our advice is not to go pour more resources onto that field. You know, in our opinion, it's just not feasible at that point. So we would ask them or suggest to them that they reduce their expectations a little bit. So we'll show you what a 250 bushel per acre yield goal looks like with the same numbers that you saw on the previous pop-up. These are the same results from the tissue lab, uh, but this is set to a 250 bushel. Wow. So that field, that field yielded 260 bushels per acre. So, and this uh, is a field average. This is not just a spot in the field. Sure, I mean, this is absolutely, field absolutely. We've got one, one last one to throw up here, just a couple additional features. We do a blog. Randy and David don't talk a lot openly about what they're up to. I'm going to try the catfish with the seed maybe. Maybe that would be good. But we share that information within the community. Uh, we've got greatest hits, lots of videos. The average total acre grower has watched about 24 hours of video content in the last calendar year of just re-recorded information. We do a ton with spatial analysis. I'm a data nerd. Not everybody likes this stuff, <laughs> but it's available to them. So just by putting their information into the tool, they're able to see uh, lots of different ways to slice the data and hopefully learn from it. I wanted to show the speed there. I don't know if you guys know this. The planting speed, it looks like going the fastest doesn't necessarily produce the top yields at all times. I, I thought that was interesting, guys, maybe. Interesting. Yeah. 
Yeah. So there's a little bit about the software. So that comes <laughs> along with being a part of the Total Acre program. We've got a team to do training and, and get you caught up on it. We've never had a grower who wanted to learn the, the software who wasn't able to, to figure it out. So. Nice. I, well, think part of the, I think part of the neat stuff, though, with the, all the data that you've been able to collect, you know, it's coming from growers. It's not like it's just, all right, this is something that Randy or David came up with. The data, when you see those greens on the charts, you know, that's tissue levels that growers have done mm -hmm. to where it is duplicatable. When you start thinking about that, and when you think about fertilizer prices and just inputs, and we focus on ROI, I'd rather spend money on a soil sample and a tissue sample to know what I need and because it's better off to do things that you know than hope. That goes but, back to what you said, knowing versus hoping mm -hmm. yeah, in the exactly. very, very beginning. Yep, yep, yep. And every one of our data points and recommendation comes from a grower that's actually done it, mm -hmm. period. Not a theory, not, not, you know, trying to take someone else's information from school or, you know, some university. Every bit of our data is generated by growers that have actually attained the yields that another grower is trying to you know, duplicate.